Um, I think out of all of them, it would be just traveling in general. We've gone to a lot of different places. Um, we've obviously been to Indianapolis. Probably my favorite was um, when we went to Disney World a couple years ago. And then just pretty much all the bus rides with the teams or with the team and then going everywhere. So, yeah. I have to say the greatest off the field memory for me would probably be Florida because uh, I have my family's from Florida. So I got to see them and they actually got to see me play lacrosse for one. So that was really nice. But uh, for sure, it was seeing all my teammates and friends um, see the beach for the first time and getting to go to Disney World. And we just had a great time together. Um, so I think like any traveling or road trip is a pretty great memory, but Florida has probably stuck out the most. It might be everyone's favorite memory. So we got to go to the beach and kind of hang out as a team a lot more than we would just going down the road to Adams or something. So just a little more special there. Um, I think every long road trip is a good memory for me and blasting music on the bus. Uh, I think one of my greatest off the field memories would be every time that we got to travel as a team especially uh, going to Durango. That was always my favorite trip to go play Fort Lewis because Durango is just such a pretty area. And then probably my sophomore year, we got to go to Florida. We went to Disney World. We went to the beach and that was a lot of fun. So I'd have to say one of my greatest off the field memories, it's going to be bus rides no matter where we're going because we always have a speaker and we're always just moving around the bus and having a lot of fun the field definitely like the crazy bus rides that we would have either like post win or pre-game like on our way like just blaring the speakers just getting ready getting that like just that hype of being ready and being excited with everyone is definitely off the field definitely favorite memory with them I feel like my favorite memory is like still gonna come up in this season because with our fat last few games, but I think I'm just gonna miss playing with this group of girls. It's never gonna be like this again. Uh, it's hard to pick like my favorite on the field memory because I feel like even when it would be like a bad game or a bad practice, like it's something that I like will always enjoy being a part of and stuff like that, but if I had to pick one, it would probably be my first goal this year. That was a big goal for me since I didn't get a goal my freshman year. And that's like the only time I ever played attack because I've been a true defender since then. That was a big goal for me. And it was really nice to achieve that goal. On the field memory is going to have to be a tie between the Missouri Western game we played this year and the Concordia game we played in 2018 because I've never seen us just come together so strong to pull that win. I definitely say, like, it's definitely satisfying to have like a great transition or a great ride, but I specifically remember after my first college goal, um, freshman year against Adam State, and I just like, I still have the photo that was taken from uh, one of our photographers, like right after I ha had scored and just, the excitement on my teammates' face as well as mine was just like overwhelming. Like it still warms my heart every time I see it. So definitely I'll never forget making that, that first goal, especially. I think I'm gonna have to go with the same as what I said previously is probably um, when I, the infamous yellow card at UCCS, that was my first collegiate yellow card and Potter's reaction on the sideline was probably one of my favorite moments. <laughs> I'd have to say the greatest on the field memory would be after COVID and everything and us not having a fall together, our team coming together and being able to work together so well right off the bat and be Missouri Western. I I personally, I love like the really close games, like usually when, like when we play UCCS or when we played Concordia and it's kind of like a back and forth struggle, I think, because it just really shows how well we can come together as a team. And so I think that's definitely my favorite. I think the most important thing that I'm going to take out of being a college athlete is that it's okay to fail. Like there, I know it was really hard my freshman and even sophomore year that if I made a mistake at practice 
or a game, I was really hard on myself. But then I learned that like, I'm going to make mistakes in life, like the rest of my life. And it, it, the mistake doesn't matter. It's what you do after the mistake. So I think that's something that I can really take with me in the future and like finding a job and stuff like that. Um, I think it's just really about realizing this is more than just you. You have to look out for the people years ahead of you and years behind you and just kind of make sure everything's taken care of. Um, I definitely say time management and knowing, learning about my body and when it's tired and when it's <laughs> ready to go to bed. Um, definitely trying to like balance class and lacrosse and weights and when to watch film versus when to watch like actual homework and do that. Um, trying to keep the grades up and everything. It's just, it was a lot all thrown together at once, but I don't know. You had a lot of support the entire time and you always had like, Monica was always our mom. So she was always making sure that we were on top of it with our grades and on top of it with everything else. So definitely, I definitely say time management. I think working through things. So perseverance, definitely. Um, I lost season to an ACL and then I lost another season to COVID. Um, and then just coming back and doing what I'm supposed to do. And then just working through all the little things, small details, big details, whatever it is. Um... I would say it for sure has made you have to be organized and everything has to have a plan. You have to be prepared, but um, it for sure has taught me that even when things are hard and stuff like that, to never give up and just be true to yourself. I think like not everything's going to work out like perfectly or how you think it's like how you think it's going to go. But I mean, if you got a good group of friends and people around you, you know, it's going to be all right. You're still going to have fun and as long as you're trying your hardest at everything, you should be okay. Um, it taught me how to work hard through rough times and adversity. So I will be applying, not sure where yet, but um, I wanna get my master's in clinical mental health counseling. And I wanna work um, as a therapist for younger kids. So my future plans after here, I plan on staying here over the summer and just enjoying Colorado. And then I got accepted to a photography school out in Paris, which I hope to attend if it's if it's in person. If it's remote, I might just travel around for a while, but I, I hope to attend photography school. Uh, future plans, I student teach in the fall, and then I will be teaching phys ed, and then I'm also going to take my praxis in health. So. Well, I got one more year left here at CSU Pueblo, but after that, I'm either planning on staying here or going back to Texas for to become an athletic trainer. Um, well, I applied to UCCS actually, so I'll, could be in enemy territory soon. Um, <laughs> but I, yeah, I applied to graduate school there. I'm not totally sure on like what exactly I'd want to do for that. I'm applying to the public administration and sociology program, so hopefully something within that sphere, but if I get in and it goes well. So I'm about to graduate with my biology degree and I plan on getting hospital experience as a phlebotomist and lab tech before I apply to med school. My plans are, I'm planning on staying here this summer and because my lease isn't up until the end of July, so why not just stay here, have like a last free summer, I guess you could say, and then, um, I'm go. I'm planning on moving to Seattle, which is only like three hours from my family. So you could say I moved close back home, but that's where I want to end up. 